like this. Which way? <laughs> I'm technologically challenged. Okay, forward. This is forward, yes. Okay, great. Good morning, bonjour, for our Asian friends who are visiting here from Jacques Mel. And buenos dias para todos and ni hao, some of my Chinese friends in the audience. I'd like to share today my spotlight with the children I have been working with over the course of my career as a school psychologist. I'd like to bring them in from the global to the personal. We're going to go to the children themselves. I have worked as a school psychologist in the public schools of Boston, New York City, Connecticut, and now in Alachua County. And I'd like to bring those children from about 40 different countries, spanning just about every continent. I'd like to bring them in the equation. I want to share with you the children I have worked with and I work with. Let's begin our journey. It's going to be a visual journey. And we're going to take the journey through the drawings of children. Children from rural areas. Children from urban areas, from the inner cities of New York or Boston. Children from the Caribbean, this one happens to be a child in Haiti, in rural Haiti, actually. Children from Central America, it happens to be a child in Honduras. Children from Asia, it happens to be a child from South Korea. And I want to bring in the different kinds of family structure, the different kind of family circumstances in which children find themselves. We'll go from the dyadic family units, where we see one parent, one child. It may be one father and one child, or one mother and one child. We have our dyadic units. Children from one parent families, Actually, the little boy on the right looks like a dad himself, but he's only 10 years old. And this is a female-headed family, so one parent family with three children. And this is another migrant family, two parent families, where we have probably a little bit larger family size than we have in our regular American families. But this is the uh, rural family from Central America depicted by a boy. And we work with children from blended families, families that come together, different mothers and fathers, different unions, and kind of are blended in together, and we are seeing more and more of that. And finally, our extended families, intergenerational families, three-generational families, grandparents, parents, children living together. I'd also like to share my spotlight today with children facing different personal and domestic dilemmas. Children facing low self-esteem or family disputes, physical abuse, neglect, death of a parent, in this particular case, death of a mother different kinds of disabilities. I'm representing here the physical disabilities because the other disabilities are a lot harder to represent. Disabilities in learning, in reading, in writing, in math. So physical disabilities are faced by many children. Or simply just walking a tight rope. However, I'd like to share this final spotlight with the children who, in spite of every circumstance, maintain high hopes, dreams, and aspirations. These are children from Spanish Harlem. Kind of depicts the fantasy of a young girl with the princess theme 
or the fantasy of a young boy with a superhero thing. In that case, Superman. But above all, I want to share with you the dreams and the aspirations of the more mature adolescents who are looking into a career who are looking into their place in life. And this is a town girl in Haiti wanting to be a fashion designer. And this is a Haitian migrant child who actually goes to high school, 7.30 to 1.30. And after 1.30, he follows the 3 to 11 shift working in the cleaning crew of a nursing home. But the dreams and the aspirations are there, despite his not having language proficiency at a high level, still trying to learn English, still trying to deal with academics. That is, the dreams and his hopes are, he sees himself as a future CEO, someone who walks around with a suit, with a tie, with a little attache case. So it is those dreams and aspirations that I think we as educators are meant to develop and to try to work for. And whether it's children from one part of the world or another, it is actually the task of educators is to bring forth and to make bridge that gap between the circumstances and the aspirations and work to develop those aspirations. Thank you very much.